Calendar is a tool that helps you schedule meetings easily. Instead of emailing back and forth about availability, you can share a link with others that shows your free time. They can then pick a time that works for them and then the meeting gets booked automatically in both your calendars. Now here, let's check pricing. So here, if you are just an individual that's just starting out uh, their business or you don't want that many features like their feature for free, uh, free, like the free features are one event type with unlimited meetings, connect one calendar and the basic integrations, customize your booking page, automate event notifications, embedded scheduling on, on your site. So as I said, I think this is great if you're just starting out and uh, with really basic scheduling needs. I believe, in my opinion, the free plan is suited for individuals or maybe freelancers who have basic scheduling needs and are just starting out. Now, maybe for a small business or startup with limited budget, uh, this is a good solution or, or great option. Now, also for anyone who wants to explore the features of the platform really before committing to a paid plan. Now, the startup. The startup is um, is really suited for medium-sized businesses with more complex scheduling because, oh, as you can see, of course, we have more features. We also have reminders, reconfirm uh, confirmation schedules, requests, or in other workflows. And always, I'm always doing when I'm paying for a subscription. I'm asking myself, what's exactly the feature I need for my business? or for what I'm doing because usually I had this uh, problem before I was just playing for a subscription or maybe I need this but just overall I need this but then uh, I realized I didn't need it because it was actually available in the free plan or just sometimes you just got to be careful you don't want to play pay for something that you don't use so always ask yourself what feature I need from standard for a team for enterprise but yeah for maybe professional this is good because such as customers coaches therapists who really need manage multiple types uh, appointments and clients because that's where this uh, features are in into place because maybe you have multiple apply, uh, appointments multiple clients also teams or departments within large organizations that require additional customizations and integration because as you can see we do have more customization here now theme plan the theme plan is of course suited for themes within maybe medium to large enterprises and basically that's all i have to say this because now yeah if it's a theme it's a theme and yeah you have you have a lot of um, maybe like you have more features here, of course, for a theme. And also this is great maybe for sales team and uh, needs that need something uh, more easy, kind of like integration with uh, CRM and um, system like uh, Salesforce and advanced uh, features, organizations with distributed themes or multiple departments. Uh, requiring um, scheduling management maybe so yeah now also an enterprise of course large enterprise organizations with extensive security of course this is a good for companies uh, this enterprise plan now I'm gonna st get started with the the free plan and I'm gonna get sign up with uh, Google that's what I'm gonna do you can enter here your email and um, you can get sign up that way or using your sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft. Actually, here I'm going to enter my email to browser around now. I'm going to click on enter. And I'm going to click on here and continue and allow okay now let's choose how do you plan on using calendar on my own that's how i'm planning and i plan to use it and i use it 
what kind of work do you what kind of work do you do well we're gonna doing i'm doing marketing and now let's continue with this and now here we are so we are in the dashboard here's the dashboard it looks really nice if you ask me i like the way it looks by the way just so you know i'm not affiliated with calendarly i don't have i don't uh, i'm not affiliated so just so you know i'm just uh creating this just to show you how to navigate in calendarly because i've just used it before and i yeah i just Want to create a tutorial on how to use calendary so yeah let's see now how we can now first thing uh, first and uh, what's worth doing when we have uh, when we start uh, using calendar is to go to our account and then click on profile and here what's worth adding first is you can add a profile which looks more professional so click on here to upload a profile then select from here you can add your face here that's uh, me <laughs> and uh, add your face there your username your name and then your welcome name you see here a preview welcome to my scheduling page please follow the instructions to add an event to my calendar that's a message here you could add as you can see you also have here an example which is great language data format time format country here you can add your country and time zone and then you can save changes and then we can go to branding and then here we can add uh, so this is uh, where you can uh, put your logo company's logo and it will just uh, show up at the top left corner of your scheduling page which is where people can uh, go to book appointments with you you can choose to have no logo or you can upload your own logo picture this picture should be uh, as you see here this format and you can uh, if you your your if you upload your logo here everyone in your company will see it when they use this scheduling tool uh, that's uh, something to remember then click on save changes then also here my link uh, and that's where now what your what what this calendar url means is is like your address on the internet where people can find your scheduling uh, scheduling page if you change this url any links you've sir uh, uh, shared with others won't work anymore and you'll need to give them the new one so uh, right now your this is my url and but you can change it to something else if you want and once you've made your changes don't forget to click save changes to uh, to keep the change here in uh, calendar sync here we can uh, look for a calendar service we want to connect with as you can see we have iCloud calendar we have um, Outlook we have iCloud we have exchange calendar and once you choose a service uh, you'll likely be directed to that platform to grant calendar.com access to your event and then here's uh, how it works this now once you follow the steps um, you know you're just gonna have to connect it with your calendar you choose you're just gonna have to grant some permission authorize calendar.com to access your event information and you know like there's some a lot of benefits of calendar.com integrations like you don't have any duplicates so you won't have like multiple copies of the same event across calendars and this gonna help you to if you make some changes on any connected calendar or it's going to be reflected in your calendar.com and you can see your entire schedule in one place now here with this uh you, you can link up um to six calendar to link up to six calendars but if you only have the standard part uh, standard plan now which means you can keep track of your schedule from different places which are really, really nice feature but if you're using the free plan you can only connect uh, one calendar which is still good that you still have this option 
Now, if you linked uh, more than one calendar, you can choose which one Calendly looks at when checking for scheduling conflicts. So let's say you have an appointment. You have appointments um, marked as busy uh, on uh, some of your calendars. Calendly will see those as conflicts and won't let anyone book during those uh, times. You can also decide which calendar Calendly should add your schedule events to when someone picks a, a time to meet with you, Calendly will put that meeting in your chosen calendar. So it keeps everything organized in one place. <clears throat> now let's click on here and let's customize this. We can click on edit, edit permissions, add internal notes, clone or delete or turn on and off. So let's click on uh, delete from here. And uh, now we can um, edit. We can edit details here. We can change the event name, duration, and also add a custom duration, location, Zoom, phone call, in-person meeting. Oh, you also have other options. You'll ask, invite, custom, or web conferencing, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, Go to Meeting. Also, we can add here a description and instructions. And with the flip plan, you can only have one folder open at a time. So because I uh, because think you can think of the meeting types in Calendly like folders for different kind of meetings. And yeah, with the free plan, you can only have one folder open at a time. And this folder holds the details for your meetings, duration, description. So you can customize it for, let's say, um, 10 minutes, 60 minutes. But if you want to uh, offer uh, 50 minutes constellations too, you, you'll have to switch back and forth between two setups. Paid plans let you have multiple folders open at uh, once so you can easily offer different meeting uh, types types without needing to switch between them that's the way i see this so here now you have description inscription uh, instructions and you can here he added the instruction and something you could add and um, something i would write here is something like this this is um this is a great, great opportunity to discuss. And here is the meeting, the meeting topic. So here, please write your meeting topic. And then here in, um, in this, uh, meeting we will cover and then here please a list uh, of the topics you can add here the list of the list of topics to be covered so here just uh, add that and here's something i would add also like um uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts and ideas uh, something like that and then uh, you know you can add make sure here you add the the list of copies to be covered here and uh, something you could write here in uh, meeting uh, topics um, discuss like uh, content ideas for uh, the marketing campaign and uh, here we'll cover list uh, of topics so maybe current marketing trends will cover more mar current marketing trends target target audience preferences and potential campaign themes and um, you can also see, you can also uh, mention something upcoming task any potential roadblocks or maybe we'll discuss um, here uh, companies' uh, needs and goals, or we'll cover here, we'll cover like um, the um, our proposed solution, pricing options, or questions you may have. That's also nice 
for maybe discuss also recent performance, career development. We can also cover like individual responsibility projects, uh, updates, and uh, other other things. Now that's all I have on top of my head, but or um, that's all I can think of right now. Mm. But that this is this might not be the best, but it's all I have um, on top of my head. But yeah, so now let's click on save and uh, close. So I'm just gonna okay here just uh, done and now here. You go back to edit we have added event details which we edited now we have host and invites now allow invites to add a guest which is we should check that box as well host scheduling settings now here we should uh, change the range if we want to actually and invites can schedule 60 uh, calendar days into the feature within a day range indefinitely into the future now we you, you should go now which with what option here now this is great within a date uh, within a date uh, range maybe if you have uh, or if you want to limit scheduling options to a to specific period uh, then you'll need to set the start and uh, okay it's just that um some problems with my internet connection no problems there so now scheduling settings with the uh, within a date range or maybe if you have a flexible time frame you can uh, you know set a number of days in the future you can also this option uh, restricts uh, scheduling uh, to Weekdays only, uh, excluding so Saturday and Sunday. You can also have indefinitely into into the feature, and this will allow like to you can like schedule meetings with uh, with you at any time in the feature, in the future. So this is a, a good option as well. Now variable hours we can here search for events types and then. Uh, we can change this click on here and then set the available available hours now also here here we have event limits and then additional options and then you click on save now we have scheduling booking page options communications and then done and then here we can click on share click on copy and we can share this on our website on our website probably it is for we can click add to a website how do you want to add calendar to website we can inline embedded add a scheduling page to your website or pop-up widget or pop-up text and then if you click on here let's say you want this then click on continue and then you can pass this embedded code and which is very nice because now you can place this code in your HTML where you want your calendar widget to appear. And uh, yeah, this is the code. Uh, this is the the link you can copy this one here. And um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And, and thanks for watching. If you have more questions, leave your questions down below. Thanks for watching and take care.